a couple of weeks ago on Reddit, I think it was, I saw a project which I thought looked pretty neat and fairly straightforward. And with the day to myself today, well, I thought I'd try and complete the project in a single day. So here's what I'm going to build today. It's the DJ or Deej. I think it's probably DJ because this is an open source hardware volume mixer for Windows and Linux PCs and it allows you to seamlessly control the volume of different apps because if you're like me you've got your YouTube open, your uh, Spotify is playing music, you might have a chat going on on Discord, those sorts of things. Uh, the vo Windows volume mixer is fairly inaccessible it's in slightly an annoying place and to actually adjust the volumes of all those different apps on the fly is reasonably tricky so uh, yeah omri created the dj which as you can see uh, he just built using a shoebox and some of these sliding faders um, and you get an idea of what this does here this sits in front of your pc and gives you some actual knobs or faders to twiddle or push to adjust the volume and he's got a master chrome spotify a game i'm assuming and his microphone on different faders so you can adjust volume on the fly and i think that's going to be really useful on my desk so this morning I came out to the shed to see if I had the hardware I needed for this project today and indeed I do. I've got quite a lot of these really super cheap pots and they are linear, not logarithmic. So they start with a B, various different values, but I don't think that will be a problem to be honest. Um, I've got an Arduino Nano clone, which will be the basis of my dj i did find that i had um, a couple of these slide pots as well but i think that would make the overall device a bit big really so i'm gonna go with these cheap pots found some 10 uh, turn pots yeah that's not gonna work is it they'll have to turn them a lot to adjust the volume and i've also got some knobs with some different colored caps so uh yeah i think i've got everything i needed so as soon as i realized that i got into fusion 360 to design myself a case to make sure that i could get it on the printer as early as possible this morning So given that time was tight today, I printed off the front panel first in this grey PLA and I wanted to do the front panel to make sure that uh, my potentiometers would fit and the little tag went through that hole and they seem to be absolutely fine. So I was quite pleased with that um, and I think they look quite nice with the contrast of the knobs. That's why I went for this grey on the front panel. I was then able to move on to the main uh, case and uh, here's how it came out still got my support in place there and the brim so they need to come off um, and as you can see there's the slot down here for the arduino nano which sits in there quite happily and should give me enough space there to get to the io pins or at least 
wire it up and then slot it in place so yeah I was quite pleased with that I went for quite large holes in the uh, supports here for the screws and that is because I want to use these uh, brass probably well possibly brass um, inserts which you heat up and shove into your 3d print and then you've got a nice thread to screw into and uh, therefore you can take the um, front cover off and put it back on again quite happily yeah so that's that um three and a half hours i think for that print um three quarters of an hour and almost an hour i think for that one and then i've got a back panel as well with a hole for the usb of the nano which i'm shoving in the front but that seems to fit quite nicely and the idea between the front panel and the back panel that actually wedges the uh, the nano in place so yeah i think i've got everything now to build this uh, project so i'll just get my nano out of there turn on the soldering iron and we'll start attaching wires so we can see here the schematic of the project it's pretty simple you've got your potentiometers here and your arduino the uh, center pin of mine uh, of those potentiometers is going to be connected to the um, analog inputs on the arduino and we'll have the five volts and ground to the outer pins so as we uh, adjust those potentiometers the voltage coming out and being read by the arduino is varying like i said as we move them so yeah it's that simple we just need 5 volts and ground to each of these potentiometers and one wire back to uh, the uh, analog inputs. Here we go then. This wire is very cheap and the insulation runs away from you as soon as you apply any heat. But as long as you're quick, it's not too bad. And I'll just tin, well, all three pins on here because they all need doing probably worth mentioning those pots are all linear not logarithmic they uh, need to be linear although interestingly of course logarithmic are better for audio because of the way we hear things anyway linear pots please well look this potentiometer hasn't got a little tab on it so i'm going to swap it out i'm going to swap this one out so that i've got one with a tab on it because i think if i end up twisting these a lot that little tab may end up being quite useful so we'll tin those and put that one on there good i think that's better now i might put them into here yes so that they're all set in place while i do all the other wires now i need to have a quick think about this i want fully left or fully anti-clockwise i guess is probably the better uh to be down so that i'm turning it up by turning it clockwise and down by turning it anti-clockwise so presumably then i need the lowest voltage at the left hand side the fully anti-clockwise position so that means i need the ground on the right from the rear on each of these and the five volts on the left ground on the right so i'm going to start wiring that up now too and there we have it that is all the wiring of the potentiometers so i just need to wire everything into the arduino now so with my panel again uh this is knob zero and that's turned all the way down all the way up that seems right so this is my first knob that needs to be connected to analog zero on the nano so purple to zero so i'm just going to shove all these in there and then just give them a bit of solder zero analog one 
analog two, analog three, analog four. Five volts is there, and ground is there. Hey, the hardware's almost done. So while the uh, soldering iron is still hot, I'm going to embed these brass threaded inserts into my 3D print. Uh, and theory has it, I should just be able to push the soldering iron in the top, heat up the brass, and push it down until they're flush. That seemed to work. So I just need to remove the support, which is easy enough to do. Ooh, bit stuck on the outside. And the brim, which just made sure it didn't warp. Might have to run a knife around the edge. I need to sort out this stringing on my printer though. But I got away with it on this one. Uh, two more inserts. So there we are then. So if I just shove um, with two screws in the front, we'll move round to the back. So I'll just loop the cables they should have plenty of space in there because the design means Ooh. there we go there's that on the back oh and everything looks quite nice doesn't it that's not too bad yeah, two more screws. I like it. So, if I have my master volume on the left-hand side, let's go for that one. Be a bit different. Chrome, they've got red in their logo and yellow and green, but I think I'll go with red. That one. That one. That's not too bad. Perhaps needs to go a little bit lower, but yeah. Uh, Spotify would be green. Not got a green one. Let's check my thing. No, no green ones. So Spotify will have to go with white for the moment. Then I've got yellow for something. That one seems a little bit tighter for some reason, not going on quite as much. Yeah, perhaps should have put them on before putting it all together. And what's the... have I got another colour? Yes, I think I've got blue. Nice! So, there are my knobs, and if it's on my desk I can... Yeah. wonder if it needs some ballast. Something in there just to... it's reasonably heavy. Some rubber feet perhaps, that might be all it needs. So I've downloaded the code by clicking on code on GitHub, downloading the zip, and I have the zip here. Much bigger than I imagined it would be, but uh, yeah, that's no problem. We can open up here and we've got Arduino and DJ5 Sliders Vanilla. Well, that sounds like exactly the sort of thing that I'm after. So I've opened the Arduino code in the Arduino IDE, and by luck, it's already set up for five potentiometers um, on A0, A1, A2, A3, and A4. So that's absolutely perfect for me. This code is really straightforward. Um, it reads the analog inputs, it builds a string, and it sends that string out via the uh, serial monitor. So hopefully this should all work. Arduino Nano. Mine are clones. I think I need to use the old bootloader. 
They're on COM3. And I think that should be it. Upload. Compiling. And uploading. And there we go. Uploading. Done. Perfect. Now if I open up the serial monitor. And it's set to 9,600. Look, I've got five zeros. That's perfect. If I just adjust that one. And the first one's reading values. The second one is. They're all reading absolutely fine, aren't they? Let's turn this one all the way up to 1,023. Yep. Yeah. That's working perfectly, and those numbers are all pretty stable as well, so that's good, I think, for the next step. Okay, now we have the Arduino sending the potentiometer values along the serial, uh, but we need Windows to understand what that means, don't we? So uh, there is a little program here in the releases section, so if we go here, um, we can see... This is the latest version, and we'll need two things. We'll need a config.yaml and the dej.exe, or dj.exe. With those downloaded, uh, I'm going to show in folder. They're just sat in my downloads at the moment. I'm going to open up the config.yaml, and uh, look, here's what's already set. So zero is the master. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Chrome, Spotify. Then got a couple of games here in a list. That's quite neat. And then Discord. Well, those are the sorts of things I'm testing it with. Uh, and you could, you can invert the sliders, so I could have um, inverted them if I needed to. I'm on COM39600. That's fine. And we'll leave noise reduction as default. Save that config file and just run the deej.exe. Oh, Windows doesn't like it. I'm happy. So that should now be running. So if I open up the volume mixer, we can see I've got main volume here. And if I adjust that, excellent. Everything adjusts. I've got Google Chrome. And that slider is moving. Spotify. There you go. That slider is moving. And then what else do I have at the end? Discord at the end. I've got one that's set to games I've never played. Brilliant. So that's working. I can independently control the volume of various different programs. So there we are then. I've been able to build the hardware print a case, design and print a case, and get a uh, Arduino project functioning by the end of the same day. And this is going to be really useful on my desk, being able to adjust all the volumes of individual programs. I love it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.